I think that we rely on fear as a false protection. We think that if we're gonna worry or we're gonna control, then we'll be safe. But it's quite the opposite. When we're in that worried state or that controlled state, we're actually creating more chaos. As a new mom, I have definitely learned this. I've been hit over the head with my own lessons over and over again. And no amount of worry is going to fix anything or create what I want. So we all have to really recognize that when we're in fear, when we're in worry, and we're in anxiety, we're actually creating more of what we don't want. What we can do to welcome more happiness and worthiness into our lives rather than fear is a method that I have in the book that's, that's strung through the entire book. Each chapter really shows up as another reminder and it's called the choose again method. That's really what it is, choosing again. We witness the fearful thought, we forgive the thought. We forgive ourselves for having the thought. We really release it completely. And then the third step is that we choose again. We choose the next best feeling thought. We can just continuously be in that practice throughout our days. We'll start to get into a habit of leaning into what feels better and saying, I forgive that thought that doesn't align with what I want and I choose again. I don't really think that I have a spiritual part of my life. I choose to live a spiritual life. So even when I'm out of alignment, I'm constantly choosing again. I'm constantly working towards the pursuit of feeling better. That's a spiritual practice. That's a great gift because then you don't feel like you're walking around without an anchor. You don't feel like you're walking around without direction. And even when you're going through difficult times, you know that there's something that you can turn to to rely on. And even if there's just moments of relief, those are miracles. Those moments where we shift our perception, that's a miracle. And that's the moment when we choose to see things differently. That's the moment when we get a sense of relief. And our work as spiritual students is just to add up those moments that we have less faith in fear and more faith in love.